Hello, I am Audumba Patkar and welcome to this lecture on the module corrosion. We were talking about the types of electrochemical corrosion. In this type, we already discussed about first three electrochemical corrosions which includes galvanic cell corrosion, concentration cell corrosion and heating corrosion. Now in this lecture we are focusing on the intergranular corrosion and stress corrosion. So let's understand what intergranular corrosion is. This type of corrosion generally observed in case of alloys and occurs at microscopic scale without any visible external sign of the intensive attack and because of this sudden failure of material occurs without any pre-warning and that is very dangerous in case of many structures made up of alloys and this can be prevented by using proper heat treatment followed by rapid quenching so that this will help to avoid the improper precipitation of metal alloys. This type of corrosion observed in case of grain boundaries at the microscopic level and grain structure or grain interior will remain untouched or protected from corrosion. This is because grain boundaries having material which is having standard electro potential more anodic than the grain center in the particular corroding medium. In this diagram, you can observe the grain structures of metal and boundaries which will get corroded because of acting as anodic structure and the grain structures will get protected because it will act as more cathodic as compared to the outer grain boundaries and here is the actual spectroscopic view of such intergranular corrosion you can observe at microscopic scale. So in this case of course on anodic boundaries the corrosion will start and metal will get dissolved and grain boundaries which are cathodic will get protected. For example, when stainless steel containing more than 0.1% carbon and chromium get heated at higher temperature above 650 degrees centigrade, a rapid reaction takes place between this carbon and chromium and chromium carbide dust form will precipitate it at the grain boundaries and hence galvanic cell will be formed and grain boundaries will act as anodic part and the grain centers will behave as cathode and grain boundaries which are more active will get corroded in this case. The question may be asked as like right no from intergranular corrosion. We need to write what is mean by intergranular corrosion and explain the mechanism with the help of a neutral level diagram and the anodic and cathodic reactions. Now the next type of electrochemical corrosion is the stress corrosion. This is the combined effect of static tensile strength and the corrosive environment. This type of corrosion also can be seen in case of the applicated alloys because of this working done on that alloys that may be internal working or external working. Internal working that may include rolling or drawing etc. And external working may be like uh, bolting or clamping etc. But the pure metals are relatively resistant to stress corrosion. Presence of stress on the metal produce strain which leads to the formation of localized zones of higher standard electro potentials. These localized zones of higher standard electro potential are very much active so that they can 
easily will get corroded even with the mild corrosive environment. So here again, small anodic areas are produced and large cathodic areas are there as like the peat corrosion. This one is also localized corrosion. For example, brass, which when highly under stressful conditions, undergoes intergranular corrosion even placed in a very small concentration of ammonia. Here you can observe the example in this metal article, this part of the metal will observe more stress and here small or minor anodic regions will be formed which leads to the very fine cracks at microscopic level and that point will act as anode and the other part of the metal which is not under stress will behave as cathode and at that small point corrosion will start and then the whole metal will get collapsed as like in this example the metal is bolted and because of this stress will be produced at this end and you can observe the failure of metal at this end because of formation of anodic regions. Question can be asked like define corrosion, explain stress corrosion with appropriate diagram and examples. So you can define the corrosion and explain which you can example the mechanism and the reaction of this stress corrosion and of course you need to draw the diagram to explain the mechanism. So here we finish the types of electrochemical corrosion. Thank you very much. See you next time.